You know, when it rains, they call him moist. <laughs> Ew. What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Earthrise Deluxe Class Hoist. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. As always, Earthrise War for Cybertron. His name is Hoist Transformers. On this side of the box, we have that's lovely, lovely. Siege artwork or for Cybertron inside the box. We have hoist. Don't bother me. I'm welding. That's what that looks like anyway. Here's a deluxe class, a class of deluxe, a deluxe class, and a class of deluxe. Oh. On the top, Transformers War for Cybertron trilogy. On the bottom, words, things, barcodes. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots, this, that, the other things and stuff, and that's basically it for the packaging. And you also get the uh, little decoder here for the box insert and when you hold it up here you get junkie on hooray hooray for junk then moving right along here we have a hoist the next of our deluxes in wave one of earth rise and here he is in his little green truck mode here so let's get in close here so we can take a look at the details lots of nice silver paint up front here some trans clear and blue actually this whole Hood section is done in that trans clear and blue. You can see it under there. So it's all done in trans clear and blue and then painted over in the green. But looks quite nice. Big old Autobot symbol right there. You got a little bit of kind of like scuffing paintwork going on there on the hood. Some nice trans clear and plastic there for the windshield. Of course, you have the caution stripes going down the sides. You can see his robot mode hands just kind of hanging out there. Hi, how are you? Uh, you can see silver there for the rims. You get a bit of silver for the rims, but they have the green clip there, and I'm just going to go over that with a silver sharpie, just kind of match it up a little bit better. And you have all this deal back here, done in orange. Got the taillights here, done in orange as well. And there is the top. There is the bottom. He rolls! Kind of, sort of, like rolling things should. The back wheels actually roll pretty freely, but the front wheels, this one rolls pretty well, but this one doesn't doesn't roll too smoothly, so sometimes you can kind of see this. That that wheel doesn't really like the hook up too well. But hey, it kind of it kind of rolls like things kind of should. And for comparison, here he is with the uh, the generations hoist. Here he is with Earthrise Jackie, and here he is with Earthrise. Optimus Prime, and in case you are wondering, as far as does he fit in the trailer, I feel like this is going to be the common question here with all these reviews. Nope, he no fit in trailer. He no, he no, he only, he only. He, that, that's pretty much it. That's all you can do. <laughs> that's all. That's the best you can do there. That's the that's the best you can do there. But uh, there you go. Now, as far as accessories go, he does include his uh his hand cannon. Right here, which is a separate piece, and just done in orange. And you can, per the instructions, you can store it on either side here. Just plug it into the side, like so, and have that going on. There are ports up here as well, so I guess you can, you know, plug it back there too if you want, or have it maybe facing forward if you move the little wings out of the way. You know, you can do that too. Another way that I found to store it, that's a little bit more, uh, it's a little bit more discreet, is he does have these ports here on his forearms, and you can. Plug that in there, it takes a little bit of doing, but it's doable. You can plug that in there, and then you can just kind of collapse all this back down. And that just kind of tucks in there pretty nicely, like that. And that's a way to store that a little bit more discreetly. It's not perfect, you can see it's really not meant to do this, because you can see it's kind of going off to the side a bit. But hey, it's, you know, you can kind of you can cram it in there, and it works. Hey, why not? Dare I say, why not? And you also have a, uh, a little gimmick here you can do. You can bring these wings out of the way, and you can take this section, and this will just kind of pop up, come around, just push it down, so this just kind of clicks into place. It has its own little rolling wheel here, so you kind of drag it behind you. And you got a little, little platform there, and you can, you can see this does have the uh, clips to attach to your base formers, or if you really wanted to, for whatever reason, you can take this and uh, clip it onto a... Uh, Prime's trailer. It's a bit hard to get all this connected. These clips are kind of tight. 
There we go. You can clip that together and have that going on. I don't know. It's a thing. It's a thing you can do if if you want to do it. So that is basically it for the vehicle mode. Also, when you, uh, you show off this uh, little detail there, when you move this section out of the way, looks pretty cool. But that is basically it for the vehicle mode. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? Hey, hey you get a good spin out of him. So. First thing we are going to do is we're going to come back here and undo all of this. So this tabs into two places, it tabs in right in here and right back here. So just pop all this up, pop, pop, pop all that up, pop all that out. That's holding quite securely. Pop, there we go, pop all that out like so. And just pull this out, it's on double hinge. Just get all that out of the way. You wanna take this whole front hood section here and you can just pop that up and we'll remove this, get that out of the way. And now that we've done that, you can see the side panel here just plugs into the port, so just undo that. And then this whole panel here, arm and all, will just pop up once you get all this cleared. There we go. Pop that up, come here, just undo, make sure that arm's out of the way, and just pop all that up like so. Let me raise a little bit here so I got some room to operate. There we go. So once we have that going on, we can take the waist and just bring it down. This will just thoop into place right there. And then we just fold down the legs, fold down the legs. And then we can take this whole hood assembly here and just bring this down. This will tab in right up in there, like so. And you got his hood belly. And we can just rotate these down for now. You want to come here and flip out his head. Bring that around until that snaps into place. Bring these little wings off to the side. Pop up this little bit here. Bring that up. And then just bring this back up and tap that back in and this will come up on this hinge and this will just tab in right up in there. And there's the backpack. Then we just bring up his little wings. And the last thing we need to do are the arms. So you just bring the arm down, rotate the bicep and then rotate his hand around so everything is oriented properly. And there you go, second verse just like the first. Just bring that down, rotate, rotate, get that straightened up, get that over his head, all nice and over the head like. And there you go, there you have hoist in his robot mode. And he's a good looking G1E hoist. He always looks like he's wearing orange briefs. I don't know, just, <laughs> just the way it looks, but anyway. But yeah, a good looking hoist. Good looking hoist indeed. Let's get in close here so we can take a look at that noggin. You get some gunmetal gray there for the mouth plate. Nice bright blue there for the eyes. Get a little bit there over his head, done in white. You can see detail there in his arms, my forearms. You have a little bit of the uh, kind of like scuffing paint job there on the forearms. I don't know how well you can see that, but it is there. It is there. Again, his orange briefs, the white thighs, he's got orange knee pads. <laughs> he's got silver there on the shins. His big old feet. And move the back. Pretty good. I mean, it's a typical, you know, kind of hoisty stuff that's hanging off of him. Well, pretty much in keeping with character. Now, articulation-wise, the head is on the ball joints. You have your wiggly, waggly, wiggly, waggly. You can look up a bit. You can look down a bit. Head can do a full 360. Arms can do a full 360, although they do at a kind of a weird angle. At least this panel moves at a weird angle. That very kind of that thing that you know how that works, like just like that. And the arms can swing up and down at this hinge. You have bicep rotation, you have over 90 degrees of bend there at the elbow, nice deep elbow bend. You have wrist rotation, you have waist rotation. Legs can move forward, that far, back, that far, outward. You can do the full splits. 
He got thigh rotation. Uh, due to transformation, he does have a double jointed knee. So, hey, you got nice full knee bend there. And you have your ankle tilted. And of course, to finish off the look, we can give him his uh, hand cannon here. And this just plugs into his hand. And for some reason, this takes a bit of doing. It's quite, it's quite snug. It's quite snug. Get in there. Get, get, get. There we go. And that just plugs all the way in like that to cover up his hand. There you go. He can pew pew bang bang, pew pew bang bang, or weld like he's doing in the packaging art. But hey, all things you can do if you want to do it. And of course, he is bluish compatible. We can bring in jet fires, effects parts. And of course, he has some blue shoe points. He has posts there on his shoulders. You can plug it in and get blushed. You can get blushed in the shoulder. And of course, he has ports here on the bottoms of his feet. So he can blush off into space. And uh, there's no blue shoe points on the legs. He can't get blushed in the legs. That's that's different. That's new. That's interesting. Uh, you can plug it in back here. I don't know. Blush. You can. Be <laughs> And of course, he has all the ports here on the arms, on the legs, on the back, so you can arm him up with your weaponizers. And of course, you can plug it into his arm cannon so he can just do a big old bloosh! A big old hoisting bloosh. Yeah, now, hey, why not? Dare I say, why not? Oops, hey, there we go. So there you have that, and now for comparison, here he is with the uh, Generations Hoist, here he is with Jackie, and here he is with Prime, so there you go. So there you have Hoist, and uh, yeah, nice solid figure, looks good in both modes. Fun figure to mess with, everything works as it should, for the most part anyway, like the front wheels on mine just have a bit of a problem rolling, but that could be just mine. But overall, it's a very nicely done, updated G1 Hoist, I'm quite pleased with it, so. There you go! Now these figures are starting to pop up in stores right now, so check your Walmarts, check your Targets. You can also check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There'll be a link in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out the Earthrise playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games. Check out Love, Peace, Paranormal. Follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Transformers Earthrise Deluxe Class Hoist. And this is Emgo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be a geek. Be proud. Palm in your face. Hoist. Hoist, could you help Ironhide out here? Uh, what happened, Prime? What's wrong? I, I don't know. He's just stupid or something. Hey, I'm the leader. Everything I say is true. Now, can you help him or not? Well, I, I don't know. I mean, uh, you can't fix stupid. I can actually feel my self-esteem lowering. Well, what am I supposed to do? I'm not a medic or a mechanic. I only exist for the sole purpose of being awesome. All right, I'll see what I can do. Well, thank you, old friend. I appreciate it. And now, we rise. What? What does that mean? He won't say. Shut up before I throw you off another cliff. I mean, before you, you slip accidentally and injure yourself again. Excuse me, I, I have leader stuff to do. Well, accidents do happen. But hoist!